Hi, this is Bao Kong Liu for Releve Design. Today I'm going to show you how to cut continuous t-shirt yarn. For future reference, this technique can also be used with plastic bags to make plarn or plastic yarn, with the exception that you won't need to stretch the plastic bag to finish it. This is an optional technique you can use to make your macrame t-shirt throw. In the main tutorial, I told you to cut multiple strips from the t-shirt. This gives you strands that are shorter and thus easier to work with, but there's a trade-off. As those strands get shorter, you have to attach new strands. The point of connection will leave you with a less finished look. If you use a longer strand, you'll have less of these connection points, but working with longer strands, even though you can spool them, will still be more cumbersome than working with short strands. You'll have to decide what's more important, having more consistent knots or having strands that are easier to work with. Just so you know, I went with shorter strands for the throw I made for Nate Burkus and used the single stitch connection. Let's get started. Fold your t-shirt by bringing the right edge of the shirt, which is closest to you, towards the left edge of the shirt, which is farther from you. But don't bring them all the way together. Leave about two inches of space between them. Try to smooth out your shirt as much as possible. It doesn't need to be perfect, but large creases can give your strips jagged, inconsistent edges. Cut off the bottom hem. Cut one and a half inch wide strips, starting the cut from the right edge of the shirt down to the folded side. Notice the strip is still attached because we left a two inch allowance between the right and left sides of the shirt. Continue cutting out the rest of the strips. When you reach the sleeves, start your cut from the left edge of the shirt this time to fully separate it from the remaining portion. Open up the shirt and insert your hand through all the loops. Notice the right slit and the left slit. From the outer edge, cut towards the left slit. Now starting from the right slit, cut towards the left slit. And again, cut from the right slit to the left slit. Repeat this until all the left slits have been cut. For the last cut, start from the right slit and cut towards the outer edge. Now you have one continuous t-shirt strand. To finish the t-shirt yarn, we need to stretch it and curl in the edges. Be careful to make sure the edges curl in evenly. To ensure this, untwist the strand before stretching. I like to stretch the t-shirt yarn a second time going in the opposite direction to ensure it's fully stretched and curled. Now you have one long continuous strand of t-shirt yarn that will give your macrame t-shirt throw a higher finish. For more tips and projects, visit relevedesign.com. This is Bao Kong Lu for Releve Design. I hope you join us next time.